getting stuck with this error on your modded NX console? It might look frustrating, but don't worry. In this video, I will walk you through a quick and easy fix so you can get back to gaming without a hitch. Let's dive in. By default, Nintendo doesn't include the XFET driver on all Switch consoles. If a user skips updating their console with the XFET driver before modding it, this error will appear later when they, or someone else, like a friend or a customer, tries to use an SD card formatted as XFET while loading the jailbroken HOS, whether on the SysMMC or the MUMMC. This issue happens only on modded consoles. On a non-modded console or when running the stock or semi-stock firmware, the system would simply prompt the user to connect to the internet and update to add XFAT support rather than showing this error. In this first section, I will show you how to fix this issue on the SysMMC. This is the easiest and the quickest solution, especially if you have a working internet connection. Assuming you are in Hecate, choose to boot to the OFW, or if you are using my headspec, select the semi stock option. Now you need to press the system update button. And select update. Now, let's launch the SysMMC CFW and see if this fixes the issue. Okay, it successfully booted to the CFW environment without any error notifications. And currently, it is on the latest firmware. Now, let's get back to Hecate. If you think that fixing the SysMMC will automatically fix the MUMMC, you are mistaken. It is important to understand that the SysMMC and the MUMMC are two separate entities, and once the MUMMC is created, they operate independently of each other. Fixing the same error on the MUMMC isn't as straightforward as on the SysMMC. This is because the MUMMC is always in the CFW state, meaning it cannot be treated like the OFW. Unlike the SysMMC, there is no such thing as semi-stock or stock MUMMC. Since we've already fixed the SysMMC, you have two options to fix the MUMMC. Create a new MUMMC from scratch by following my other video, or fix the existing MUMMC which requires some effort and is a bit technical. Keep in mind that the first option will wipe your current MUMMC, so you will use all the data stored on it. If you already have games and other important data on your MUMMC, the only way to preserve it is to follow the steps in this guide. If you want to create the MUMMC from scratch, follow the link in the description. Otherwise, please continue with this video guide. This guide uses my head pack. To ensure everything is synced, please use the same pack. Click Payload, then choose the Lockpick RCM. Select Thumb from Sys10 and press the power button to confirm it. Press any button to get back to the main menu, then select Reboot to Hecate. Next, we need to transfer the extracted port case or the console case to a computer using the Hecate USB tools with a USB Type-C cable. Select Tools, USB Tools, then select SD Card. Get a USB Type-C cable and connect the console to a computer. I use a Windows PC. On your Windows PC, locate the mounted drive, Open it, and navigate to the switch folder. Then, drag the prod.kiss file to the desktop. Close the open window, then safely remove the mounted drive by selecting Eject UMS from the bottom right of the screen. 
Back to Hecate, press close. Now close the current page, open the console info page, and click the HW and Fuses button. On this page, make a note of the SOC information. For my console, it is listed as Mariko. Remember, there are only two types, Arista or Mariko. Be sure to note them carefully. Close the page, get back to the tools page, then click USB tools. Disable the read-only option, then click MU Raw GPP. If you see this notification, it means your MUMMC is not of the partition type. In this case, the MU Raw GPP option cannot be used. Ensure that the read-only option is disabled, and then select SD card instead. And then connect the console to the computer using the USB Type-C cable. Download the NX NAND Manager which can detect the latest 19.0.1 firmware. Find the link in the description below. Next, download the .NET Desktop Runtime 702. Please avoid installing any version slower or higher than this, as it may lead to errors. And lastly, download the latest NAND Fix app from GitHub. Extract the downloaded NX NAND Manager archive to your computer. I extracted it to the desktop. Open the folder and run the NX NAND Manager app. Select option, then choose configure key set. Select import keys from file, and choose the prod.keys file that we have obtained earlier. Click OK and save it. Now click file, select open drive, and choose SDGPP Hecate. Here, you can find the current firmware version of the mounted drive, which is 19.0.1. And we will replace the existing BCPKG21 normal main partition to support the XFAT SD card format. Before proceeding, we need to download the firmware version displayed in the NX10 manager. In this case, I will download version 19.0.1. Now install the .NET Runtime 702. and then extract the firmware file to the desktop. Now run the NANFIX app. Select the console type. For me, I chose Mariko. Then select the prod.keys file. And then select the firmware folder. And now click Generate. Close the NAND Fix app and get back to the NX NAND Manager. Right-click the BCPKG21 normal main partition, then select Restore from File. Open the newly generated folder from NAND Fix, then select the BCPKG21 normal main partition. Select Yes to continue. Close the pop-up window. As stated earlier, if your MUMMC is in SD file format, you won't be able to mount it as a drive. Please disable the read-only option and mount the SD card directly. Connect the console to your computer using a USB Type-C cable. Make sure you can see the mounted SD card drive on your computer and then run the NX NAND Manager. The principle for checking the firmware and making modifications remains the same. However, we need to open it as a file rather than as a drive. Therefore, click on File, then select Open File. Open the mounted SD card drive, navigate to the MUMMC folder, and then proceed to the SD00 folder. From there, enter the EMMC folder. Select the 00 file. You have successfully opened the MUMMC in SD file format. And again, you can find the mounted MUMMC firmware version right here. Now, please right-click the BCPKG21 normal main partition and replace it with the one generated by the NAND Fix app. You can close the NX10 manager and remove the mounted drive safely by selecting Eject UMS.
And now you can press close, remove the cable, and try launching the MU MMC. And just like that, the error has been resolved and you have successfully loaded the MU MMC. Thank you for watching the video. See you in the next one.